If you want to connect your Xiaomi 15T or 15T Pro to PC and to transfer data, then in this case we have two main ways that allow you to do so. You can for example use a USB-C cable and you can just simply connect your phone to your computer with the USB cable. So let's do this, there we go. And then once we connect, you might need to go to notifications afterwards in order to find the notification about charging this device via USB. We need to tap over here and switch to file transfer slash Android Auto. There we go. Now, as you can see on the computer, we should be able to find our Xiaomi 15T or 15T Pro. Then we can go to the internal storage and we can find pretty much anything that we have saved on our phone, whether it is documents, photos, videos, audio files, and so on and so forth. And we can easily, we can easily transfer between our computer and our phone. And if you don't want to, or if you can't use a USB cable, then we can also use Link to Windows. Now, this is of course viable only if you have Windows PC. Uh, but in this case, if we go to settings and choose more connectivity options, then in here we have a link to Windows, which we can use in order to connect to our computer wirelessly. I'm gonna use the QR code method because it is simply the easiest. So we will open the rear camera and of course we can scan the QR code that we can get on our computer. In this case, use the phone link app on your Windows, which is pre-installed. And then we can choose Android over here and we can generate the QR code. Then we're gonna tap on continue and we need to enter the code that you will see on your computer in the app. You will also need to grant some permissions for the app so you can do that. And there we go. And on your computer, you can choose to continue once you are all set. We have this welcome message, so we're just gonna click on get started. And that's about it. In here, we can tap on send files in order to choose whatever you want to send to your computer. This can be, of course, uh, photos and also different files that you may have on your phone. And if you want to transfer something to your phone, then what you can do is you can right click on that file and then choose share option. And in here, you should be able to find your phone so you can easily select it over here. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.